guys, I'm Chamuk Chamander from Needponics Videos and today I'm going to explain the image component. So, uh, to do this video I need some kind of image. So I have two test images for this. All of them are sprites and single sprites, actually, basically. And let's get started. Right click on your hierarchy and go to UI. Under UI, go to image. And a new image will be pop up on your game view or scene view. So if I basically switch to scene view, you'll be wondering where the f is my <laughs> image. So double click on the canvas and you'll be zoomed out for the can to see the canvas. So uh, we're working on the game scene game panel and it will be very easy for us to do under game, not scene. So okay, in game now you have created an image game object which contains the image script and the canvas renderer canvas renderer is default and canvas is an event system will be automatically generated if you create some kind of a ui element from this menu or uh, this menu so i'm working with this image right now so right here you have the source image you have to select image that you want to be displayed from this image component so i select this apple mac Apple Mac background image so now you have the rec transform and uh, the canvas rendering system and you can select the width and height that you need so if I select some kind of a width like uh, 200 and 200 you can see the image is kind of a scaled a bit and resized into uh, some kind of a, a very ugly image actually you can see it is this short so you can select this preserve aspect right here so every image has a aspect ratio basically uh, this image is 16 by 9 which is my screen resolution actually you can set it as a background so that's 16 by 9 so if you set the preserve aspect this this thing turns into the its normal state not that ugly scaled state and now the image type or oh, you can set a native size if you set the native size you can see the image is on its original size which means to, uh, 1366 by 768 which is 16 by 9 aspect ratio so I'm not going to do that on the image type you have simple and I'm going to select sliced I'm going to explain each and every one so sliced the image must be sliced so this example is not good for this so I'm not gonna explain that so let's go to field because it's very important in developing a game like this game so if you change the fill amount you can see that it's like a pie chart you can see using when you when you're developing pie charts you can have things like this and you can change the fill amount so that's a radial filling so you can have many types of filling like horizontal filling for pro progress bars vertical fillings radial 90 degrees radial 180 degrees and 360 degrees basically if I use it for most of upgrades you can see if you're developing a game like clash of clans and you have an upgrade ongoing and you can set this value and one thing I forgot was the color actually I you've been wondering what that was so if I set it to red you can see the images in red actually that the color is changed because the pixels are turned into kind of uh, addition between the original pixel and the RGB 25500 so and the alpha channel that's the transparency of the image you can set that too and that's pretty much it so you have this tiled option to make sure that this is fit into and you can see it is masked into 200 and 200 uh, width and height so the image is actually like this and when it is tiled and goes into 200 and 200 you can see it is 
uh, masked into 200 and 200 pixels that's what the tiled option does so that's for me to do in this video guys so thanks for watching if you need some great tutorials from me you need to subscribe to my channel so thanks for watching see you guys in the next video